to Hazel's Heroes for April 1993. Remember, Hazel's Heroes is a program that's jointly sponsored by the Hazel Park Schools and the Hazel Park Lions Club to recognize outstanding elementary students. There, we've been doing this program for probably eight years now, and we never seem to run out of students who do outstanding things in their schools. And we're going to start over here with um, a young man from Roosevelt, and then we'll go around the corner and see some people from Edison. Hi. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan, and you have a last name, Nathan? Reeves. Nathan? Reeves. Reeves? Reeves. Reeves, okay. And how old are you, Nathan? Eight. Eight? What grade does that make you? Seven. And who's your teacher over there at Roosevelt? Mrs. Anderson. Doing any interesting things in second grade? Mm -hmm. How do you busy yourself in second grade? What kind of things are you doing? Math, language, spelling. How many spelling words do you have every every week? Do you get some new spelling words every week? Ten. Ten? And um, do you take them home and study them? Yeah. Do you like spelling? Sometimes, huh? Mm. Yeah, I know. I, I could never figure out how to spell all those words. Um, tell me, um, have you been studying the words this week? A little bit? A little bit. Do you have homework? Yeah. How many nights a week do you have homework? Every day except Saturday and Sunday. So you don't, you don't have to take any on Friday, right? When do you do your homework, Nathan? When I wake up. When you, when you get up in the morning? Oh, do you wake up early, early? Yeah. And, and you do your, your homework then? That's a pretty good deal because your mind's fresh, right? Yeah. Okay, what happens if you oversleep? Then when it's lunchtime, my mama, mama sometimes my mama, Bring me in when it's lunchtime. Oh, I see. Okay. That's good. Why are you a Hazel hero? Because this kid wanted to fight, and I didn't want to fight, so I went back in the school and told my principal. And avoided the fight. What did your principal do? Mr. Mayor is your principal, right? Yeah. What did your principal do? He said, okay. Mm. And, and he, took, he helped you take care of it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was a really good decision, wasn't it? Because um, fighting just um, doesn't resolve many issues for very long, does it? And um, having the courage to go in and, and ask somebody to help you is a really good thing to do, right? You keep up the good work. Glad to have guys like you around Roosevelt School. Okay? Keep it up. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Then we have... Jessica. Jessica. And do you have another name, too, Jessica? What's your other name? Um, Disco A. Baker. Okay. And, um, boy, sure do like your fancy dress. Where'd you get this fancy dress? From my dad. From your dad, and he got it for you for Easter, did you tell me? And where'd you get this, this bracelet? That's pretty fancy, too. Wow. Um, my birthday. For your birthday? And how old are you, Jessica? How many is that? Five, right? And, um, do you go to school? Whereabouts do you go to school? Huh? Whereabouts do you go to school? At Roosevelt? <coughs> Can you tell me who your teacher is? Miss Hinton. Miss Hinton. Okay, and and Miss Hinton teaches in Head Start, right? Okay. And um, do you like going to school? What kind of things do you do there? Play. Uh huh. <coughs> Anything else? Help people. Help people. What do you help people do? When you got some work to do and, and they need a little bit of help doing it, you help them, right? And do you play good? You share toys? 
Do you have lots of toys in school? Huh? Mm -hmm. What kind of, what, what's your favorite toy in school to play with? Dolls. Dolls. And your friends that come there with you, they like to play with dolls too? Yeah. Can you tell me why you're Hazel Hero? Because I was going, I, there's little girls and playing, so I, they said something and I forgot. So I went over there and said, stop. So there's some little kids fighting, some girls fighting in your class, were they? And um, you saw them getting ready to fight or argue with each other, and you went over there and tried to get them to stop, right? And um, were, did that happen? Did you make them stop? Mm -hmm. And then the teacher came over and, and you got it all resolved, right? Well, that's a good lesson. How did you learn how to do all that already, only being five? Don't know? Well, that's really a good thing you did. How did you scratch yourself there? My mom was put my address on and she scratched me. Oh, it can happen, can it? Okay. I thought maybe you had a dog or something. Do you have a dog? Two dogs. What, what are their names? Tiffany and Lady. Oh, yeah? And um, what are they big dogs or little dogs? One, one's a big dog and one's a little dog. Oh. Do you take care of those dogs? You feed them and give them water and things like that? Do you? Every day? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And those dogs like you for that, don't they? Do they jump up on you sometimes? They don't ever? Well, that's good. You keep up the good work in school, okay? You'll be going to kindergarten next year, right? That's exciting stuff, isn't it? Exciting to go to kindergarten, and um, even little people can um, be peacemakers sometimes, and that's pretty good, right? Do you think that's pretty good? Yeah. Um, how old are you? Nine. Nine. How do you like being nine? Supposing, I like it. Supposing I were magic and I could say, um, all right, I'm going to make you any age you want to be. How old would you want me to make you? Eighteen. Eighteen? Why would you want to be eighteen? I want to go to college. You want to go to college? Why would you think it'd be fun to go to college? Mm -hmm. You know somebody who's gone? Who? Uh, <laughs> can't remember their names. Okay, but they told you that they had fun in college? College is some fun, but you know what? What? You have to study in college, too, right? That's okay. That's okay? You don't mind studying? No. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa, and your last name, Melissa? Harrison. And um, how, you're, you're nine years old, right? Yeah. And um, go to Edison School? Mm-hmm. And what grade? Fourth. Fourth, and who's your teacher? Miss Wilson. And um, you guys have computers over there at Edison School? Yes. Do you ever get a chance to use them? Yes. How often? Not a lot. Not often. A little bit. Once a year? Mm-mm. More often than that? Once a week? Mainly about once a month. Once a month. Have you have you had um, the um, the keyboarding class yet? Yes. Um, and that's where they teach you kind of how to type, right? Yes. Do you know the home row keys and things like that? Uh-huh. Can you type? Uh, a, little, a little bit? Yes. Okay. Can you type without looking at your fingers? Once in a while. Boy, that's pretty hard to do, isn't it? I remember I, I didn't get a chance to do that until I was in high school. You know that? Mm -hmm. And you guys learn real quick now, right? Yeah. Why are you a Hazel Hero, Melissa? Because I'm an outstanding student, and I, do, and I do my work, and I follow the rules. You follow the rules, and um, I, I was impressed with the fact that you follow the rules, that, that you make yourself follow the rules, right? Mm -hmm. And that, that's a pretty good thing, um, that, that you can make yourself, because that's, that's what adults have to do, right? Yeah. Adults need to make themselves follow rules. There's not usually people around watching to see what time you go to bed and, and how fast you drive and things like that. So adults do those things, and that makes you very adult-like, right? I don't know. It does. It does. And you'll be going on to fifth grade next year? Yeah. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. You keep up the good work. All right? Glad to have you on our program.
Hey, Ian. Well, well, let's go off this thing. What, what are you smiling at? I, I remember reading what Mr. Wade said about you, Ian. He said that, um, that you smile a lot. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You smile a lot? Mm-hmm. Pretty happy person. Um, how long have you had your ears pierced? A year. A year? Did it hurt? Mm-hmm. It just had like a little shock and then stopped. Didn't stop? Mm-hmm. And um, are those diamonds? Well, they're diamonds, but they're not real. Okay. <laughs> well, they look real to me. Do they feel real? No. They don't feel real. Do you I know what real diamonds would feel like? No. Um, what's your name? Sharon. And your last name, Sharon? Salil. And um, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Edison School. Fifth grade Edison School means that you probably have Mr. Wade. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wade. When he sends somebody here, he always sends me a message. Um, Did he send a message for me today? Yeah. He told me that, um, yeah. Don't <laughs> laugh when you say this, Sharon. You're the nicest person on the place of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Did he laugh when he said it? Well, not really. I was going to tell him to scare him. I, well, he didn't really get scared because he knew I wasn't going to tell you this, but I was going to um, tell you that he, he said that you're the meanest person on place with this earth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what <laughs> And now he's going to know, right? So he thinks I'm the nicest person on the face of the earth, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. Do you believe that? You mm-hmm. believe that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad mm-hmm. you believe that. Um, fifth grade, what are you guys doing in fifth grade? Well, usually we do almost every subject. When we come on every Monday, we write, we make our new spelling list, mm-hmm. and then he gives us an assignment. Like, we usually will do dictionary work or write each word ten times. Mm-hmm. You have spelling work? Yeah. How many do you have? We have 20. 20? Mm-hmm. That's what, that's what happens when you get to the end of the grade, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and do you study them? Um, when I'm in school, yeah. When you're in school. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have homework, too? Yeah. Do you? Mm-hmm. How many nights a week do you have homework? We have every day except Friday. Okay. How long does it take you to do your homework? Usually it takes, <clears throat> in social studies it takes me 15 minutes, but... Usually other times it takes me five, maybe even six. So everybody has homework. Everybody has to bring it down. Do you get your homework done every day? Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. You get your homework done every day? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> um, why are you a hate girl? Well, Because I've you say nice things about Mr. Atwater, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the paragraph um, that he wrote, uh, he said I was a ray of sunshine and um, that, that when I'm not around, I'm a person that really gets missed, you know. Because you're that ray of sunshine. <laughs> what do you think that means, being a ray of sunshine? That I'm always happy and I make Mr. Wade happy. Okay. And, and, and you know what? Our attitudes are, are, um, contagious to other people. You know what that means? If, if some <laughs> of us are sad and grumpy a lot, other people will be sad and grumpy. And if mm-hmm. some of us are happy a lot, that makes other people feel a little happy, too. So um, that's why being a ray of sunshine is really good for a class. You keep up the good work, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks for coming. Bye. There we have it. Roosevelt and Edison, right? Smile. Our next group of heroes come from Ford and Hoover. And I'm going to start over here with this guy from Hoover School, right? Right. How you doing? Good. Fourth grader, are you? Mm-hmm. And um, what's your name? Marshall. Marshall. You have a last name, Marshall? Mm-hmm. What is it? Wood. Marshall Wood. Yeah, fourth grade. How old does that make you? Nine. Nine. How do you like being nine? Okay. You wouldn't want to be 18, would you? No. What age would you like to be if I were magic? 20. 20. <laughs> Why would you want to be 20? What can happen to you at 20? 
I can have lots more money. And lots more money. Are you plan on working when you get to be 20? Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think you would like to do? Um, work at Ventures Industry. Industry. Venture? Mm-hmm. What is Venture Industry? Um, they fix machine, real big machines and that. Who do you know that works there? My dad. Your dad. What does your dad do at Venture? He fix all these big machines. Does he? Have you been there? Mm, yeah. Have you seen the big machines? Mm-hmm. I like machines. Do you like machines? Mm-hmm. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah. I've never been able to work in a place. Only one summer when I was in college, I worked in a factory. And, and I couldn't believe all these big machines and all the things I used to do. I thought it was really neat. Um, my dad used to work in a factory. And um, he used to tell me about all these machines. And, and it's kind of, kind of neat. What did your dad fix? What did he have to do to them? Well, he asked. Well, they're really, like, broken, and he, he gets inside them and um, fixes them. No kidding. He gets right inside the machine? Mm-hmm. Yuck. <laughs> Is your dad little? Nope. They just have big machines, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell me about school. Fourth grade. Um, who was your teacher? Mr. Zeke. Okay. Um, and how many spelling words do you have? Usually 15. 15. Do you take spelling words home? No. You don't? You learn them right, right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you do that? Well, um, she puts the um, words on the overhead, mm -hmm. and we um, write them down sometimes for the third graders because we have a split class, and, and we, have, we have our own list that we write them down three sure. times each. Okay. And if you write them down three times each, then you've kind of got it? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's good. Tell people what an overhead is. Lots of people don't know what an overhead is. Well, it's like this thing where you have like this white thing and you turn it on and it, you just write on there because it has like this magnifying glass that you pull, pull it back farther and it um gets real bigger and if you put it up closer it'll get real smaller it's like a projector right? yeah. and the teacher can write stuff on mm -hmm. things and it puts and it on you the can board see it it really easier. big right mm -hmm. i mean makes the letters real big and they put on so she put it on a screen mm -hmm. okay um, what's your favorite thing to do in school science Science? Tell me some things that you've done in science this year. Well, we built bodies. You did? Mm -hmm. We made spleens and that. Well, we didn't make them, but we colored them, mm -hmm. cut them out, put them in bodies. We oh. drew our bodies. Your body? Yeah. Did you look taller or shorter than what you thought you looked? Probably taller. Did you? It's surprising when you see, did you cut your body out of paper? Mm -hmm. And it's surprising when you see yourself, because you look really pretty big, don't yeah. you? I like to walk in shadows because it makes me look even taller. Yeah, right. Um, why are you a Hazel hero? Because I know right from wrong. You know right from wrong. How did you learn right from wrong? It's really hard to explain. Well, we got a little time. Well, there's some rules that sometimes kids want to fight with me. They try to start a fight with me and they start swearing at me. So I went and told um the lunch aide. Mm-hmm. And that avoids a confrontation, right? Mm -hmm. um, what what did the kids do? Did they stop? No, they keep on bullying me. And what do you do about that? I tell. Okay. And you avoid the confrontation. Mm -hmm. Because fighting isn't going to resolve it. Mm -mm. Right? So you have to just work on not fighting with that, right? All right. You keep up the good work. And remember, mm -hmm. right always wins. Sometimes it takes a little while. But it does win in, in the long run. Okay? Okay. Keep up the good work. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. Are you 17 years old? No. No, you're not. You're not 17? Mm -mm. How old are you? Six. Six? What grade does that make you? Kindergarten. Kindergarten? Mm -hmm. And how you like kindergarten? Fine. Who's your teacher in kindergarten? Miss Beaver. Miss Beaver. And where did you get all this? Um, I mean, you got gloves. Look at those gloves. Are they ever fancy, right? Mm -hmm. How'd you keep them so clean? My mom ironed them. She ironed them? them? She washed them? Have you worn these gloves before? Where did you wear these gloves? My Easter dress. Is this your Easter dress? Yeah, but I, my, my mom, I have a little hat that goes with this and there was a ribbon coming. Oh, you have a hat too? Mm hmm Oh, wow, that's awesome. And your purse? Mm -hmm. What color is your hat? It's 
white. It's white. The white ribbon. With a white ribbon. What do you have in your purse? Oh, you have a book. Mm -hmm. You have a necklace. You have a key ring. What what kind of book is that? Can you tell me what the book is? The church book. It's a what? The church book. A church book? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we see it? Yeah. Okay, that's your New Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And is that yours? Yeah. It is? My sister has one. But do you remember my sister? She used to be that pink and black spotted dress. Her name is Monica. Mm. Mm. I don't know whether I know your sister or not. You think I might? She's been a Hazel Hero. Has she? Mm. Has she been a Hazel Hero? What's her name? Monica. Monica. Marga? Monica. Monica? Ann Walters. Monica Walters. Well, I think I remember that name. I don't know whether I remember her face or not. And your name is? Christina Marie Walters. Christina Marie Christina Walters. Marie Walters. <laughs> and you're kindergarten at Hoover School, right? <laughs> and um, boy, you sure are dressed up. That's nice. You like school? Yeah. Do you have homework? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? What kind of homework do you have? What do you have to do when you do homework? I have to do, I do mine right when I get home, and my sister does it past bedtime. She does it past bedtime, your sister does, huh? Yeah. You know, sometimes sisters are like that, aren't they? My sister's eight. Eight? Well, when, when, when you get old like that, you don't always do things the way you're supposed to, right? Mm -hmm. Um. What kind of homework do you have? What do you have to do? Um, like sentences. Sentences? Mm hmm Okay. You like doing all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you do. Why are you a Hazel Hero? Because my, I, I listen to, to go to my teacher and they have to speak to me. So yeah. you 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 obey the rules. Mm -hmm. You only talk when you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. And you share when you play with the toys mm -hmm. in the kindergarten class. Yeah. And um, you're a good citizen then, right? Yeah. All right. You keep up the good work, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks for now. You've been on the program too, and your sister. Wow. Mm -hmm. Two Hazel heroes in your family, right? Yep. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now from board school, we have. What's your name? Gary Farrell. Gary Farrell? Mm hmm And how old are you, Gary? I'm 10. 10. What grade? Fourth. And who's your teacher over there at Ford? Mrs. Zegler. Mrs. Zegler? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was in your class not long ago, right? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I came over to see Mrs. Zegler. Oh, I thought you were that fireman. You thought I was a fireman? Yeah, because that one guy came in and looked like you. Oh, he did? Young and good looking? Mm. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> so a young, good looking fireman who looked like me was in there, huh? That's what you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what you said. Um, have you had keyboarding over at your school? Mm-hmm. Can you type? Yeah. Can, what do you know about computers? Well, I know that you can play games on them, mm -hmm. and you can type, too. You can type, too? Mm -hmm. Can you um, type without looking at your fingers? A little bit. A little bit. Takes... I got to look at this book, and I'm like, uh oh Yeah, that's right. I remember. It's so hard to do, isn't it? Knowing mm -hmm. where your fingers are going, knowing where the keys are. Um, well, you did something kind of special as, as a Hazel Herald, didn't mm -hmm. you? Um, It'd make me real happy if I um, if I was the, the person that um, was a recipient. What'd you do? Well, I found a money order and I turned it in. Um, was the money order in an envelope? No. It was just a a money order. <laughs> <coughs> How much was the money order for? I don't know. I think it was a hundred or two hundred. 
two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And do you know what happened to that money order? Mm -hmm. My mom called up to some guy that owned it, and he came over, got it, because he had to fix his roof. Mm -hmm. He got it, he took it back, um, and he did something with it. Yeah. That was um, a pretty important thing you did. Mm -hmm. If the guy wouldn't have found that money, he could have been out 250 old buckos, right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. You know how much money that is? Yeah. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. That, that um, takes a long time to make $250, right? Right. Yeah, that's for sure. And that was, I understood it was a house payment. And that's pretty important to get your house payment done on time, right? Otherwise, there's a fee that comes late for when you do things late sometimes. Like, um, that's why we try and teach you guys to do your homework on time because you need to pay bills on times and things like that, right? Because mm -hmm. in my class, if I don't get my homework in on time, I get my name on the board. Do you? Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and that helps you remember that you should be getting your homework done on time, right? Yeah, because he leaves our names on the board until we bring in our homework. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> and um, when do you do your homework? Well, I usually do it at school because I can. Okay. He lets me. He lets you? Mm-hmm. Who's he? Mr. Oshab. I got two teachers. Oh, okay. You have Mr. Oshab, too? Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and Mrs. Ziegler, right? Yep. Well, you're kind of lucky having two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got three teachers. No kidding. Because I got Mr. Z Mrs. Ziegler, Mr. Barnes, and Mr. Oshab. Oh, Mr. Barnes, a student teacher? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he, and he works in the room with Mrs. Sigler, right? Yeah. Okay, and you probably even have more than that, because you have Mr. Masserang for... Gym teacher. For gym teacher, and... Art you, teacher, music teacher. So you got just lots of teachers wandering around there, right? Yeah. Huh? Okay. You keep up the good work, be honest, okay? And okay. and that was a really honest thing that you did, and, and I'm proud of you, and I know the man that, that the money belonged to is also very happy with you, right? Yeah. Good job. Good job. Hi, Jane. Hi. How you doing? Good. Where'd you get the vest? Um, the mall. The mall? Did you buy it out of your own money? No. You didn't? You buy it out of your mother's own money? Yeah. <laughs> I always liked it when I could do that to my mom. Pretty fancy, pretty fancy vest there. You understand that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You like it? Yeah. Good. What's your last name, Jane? Panich. And how old are you? Ten. And what grade does that make you? Fifth. Fifth. How do you like fifth grade? Good. Who's your teacher over there at Ford School? Miss Pytel. And um, does she um, does she give you homework? Yeah. Does she? Um, do you get it in, or do you get your name on the board? I get it in. <laughs> you wouldn't want your name on the board, right? No. Okay. Um, tell me what 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 kind of things you do when, when you first get there in the morning let's talk about your day until noon okay okay when i first um i wake up and then i go to service squad um and i help her out and then i um buy my lunch usually and then i go to class and i um do my work okay you're a service squad yeah and what is a service squad um it helps um another teacher besides your teacher can you help mrs landis yeah okay what do you do with Mrs. Landis? Um, I help the kids and I file the papers and I check papers. What grade does Mrs. Landis teach? Second grade. Second grade. So, um, do you get there early in the morning? Yeah, usually about 8.15. 8.15? Okay. And how long do you stay in Mrs. Landis' class? Um, till about 8.30 or or, um, not 8.30, 8.35. Okay. So you're there 15 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes or so, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you help her do some of the things that, that she needs to have done, right? Yeah. You put the chairs down and things like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, that's one of the reasons that you're a Hazel Hero, right? Mr. Yeah. Mrs. Landis said some really nice things about you, didn't she? Yeah. Did, can you remember the things that she said? She said, I'm always on time. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm a good helper. Yeah. 
You also write poetry. Yeah. And um, you guys had grandparents stay over there not long ago, right? Yeah. And you had a you had a special honor, right? Yeah. Well, what was your special honor? Um, I got to write. I got to read my poem out loud to the, in the gym. To everybody. Yeah, all the grandparents and the kids. You're a little scary. No. Was it scary? No, I'm used to being on stage. You are? Mm-hmm. Why are you used to being on stage? Because I'm on stage a lot. Doing what? Well, I was in a play, and um, I was on the meat boards, and I did the grandparents thing before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Did you write a poem before? No, I wrote an essay. An essay. Do you remember your poem? Not all of it. Not all of it. I was going to have you tell us on... on TV, what your poem was, but I, I would imagine that we probably played it on TV anyway. Yeah. Before grandparents there. Have you seen yourself on TV? Yeah. How do you look? Good. <laughs> Just like you think you look? Yeah. All right. I know that uh, Mrs. Landis is very, very happy to have you as a service squad person, and yeah. we're happy to have a person like you in our school district. Keep up the good work. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. There we have it. Over and forward, right? Our next group of heroes come from Roosevelt and Longfellow, and um, we uh, flipped a coin to see who would go first, and um, RJ didn't even get a chance to call the coin, and um, it came up your coin. You're first, RJ. Uh -oh. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Um, your last name, RJ, is what? Malat. Malat? Mm -hmm. And um, you're what grade at um, Longfellow School? Fourth. Fourth grade. Well, we have a lot of fourth grade students today, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? Yep. And, um, well, we've been talking about spelling, right? Mm -hmm. A lot. How many, um, how many spelling words do you have, RJ? Twenty. Twenty! And who's your teacher over there? Mr. Called? Jones. Mr. Jones. And, um, do you take your, um, spelling words home? Yes. Okay, and how, how much do you, how much time do you spend studying spelling words? An hour. An hour? Mm hmm Do you? And um, do you have a pre, like a pretest? Yeah. On Thursday? Yep. And if you get if you get all of them right, you don't have to take it on Friday. Is that what they still do? No, we still have to take it on Friday. You still have to take it on Friday, so you have to know those words at least two days, right? Right. Okay. Um, have you had um, have you had keyboarding class? Yes. You have. Now, can you type? Yes. Without looking at um. Get your fingers? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Some words, right? Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit of time to learn that, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll have fifth grade and, and sixth grade to um, to learn that also, right? Yep. Okay. RJ, why are you Hazel Hero? Because um, Miss King, the supervisor of the safety patrol, mm -hmm. she said that I'd do an outstanding job of crossing the kids. Okay. Miss um, King is... Um, is a teacher at Longfellow, right? Right. And she, she's the boss of the safety patrol? Yep. Where's your post, RJ? Um, right across from the school. Okay, right across from the school. Mm -hmm. It's fairly important that, um, that you be there um, every day, right? Right. And um, how do kids respond to the safety patrol? The older kids sometimes don't listen to me, but the little kids do. Okay. And um, what happens if, if people don't listen to you? Do you have a procedure that you follow? Yeah, you could. You can give them three warnings, and mm -hmm. then you can report them. Okay, and then they go to Miss Miss King again. Yeah. Okay, and then she takes care of it from there, right? Mm -hmm. um, the weather's getting nice now, so it's not cold. But it was cold. Were you out there on those cold days, mm -hmm. snowy days, and things like that? And I think lots of parents are, are real appreciative. I don't think that many times people get a chance to say to the safety patrols, we appreciate you being there. But I know I've had a lot of people tell me that, that they feel really good when the safety patrol is out there and they know that, that you guys are out there taking care of their kids, right? Right. Okay, so a lot of us appreciate the good work. I also remember that Mr. Jones wrote some things about you about... Um, about your discipline of yourself and, and your ability and, and responsibility in the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, because you're a responsible person, right? You're right. Okay. 
where did you learn all this responsibility stuff? Know anybody who is responsible like that? Okay. No. It just, um, it just came from inside you, huh? Mm hmm All right. Well, you keep up the good work, all right? Because you're making a whole lot of people happy, especially with your Sage Patrol stuff. Okay. Thanks. Good job. And then from Webster yeah. School, we have um, two guys that um, that were sent to us, and we'll start with um, the guy with the necklace. Tony. Tony. <clears throat> your last name, Tony. Speaker. And um, what grade are you in, Tony? Sixth. Sixth. Who's your teacher? Miss Sutton. And um, how do you like sixth grade? I guess it's cool. You're ready to move on to um, seventh grade? Yeah. What What do you, um, you'd be going to um, to Webb, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, have you ever been at Webb Junior High? No. Okay. Never, never seen the pool, never seen the gym. Nope. Never done any of those things. Um, they do an orientation, right? Mm, I guess they do. And you'll be able to go over there and see, you know, work a combination lock. Yeah. <laughs> That's always one of the hard things for, for like seventh graders. What kind of things? Um, what occupies your time in, um, in, uh, in let's say the afternoon after lunch when when you go back to um, school after lunch. What kind of things happen? A lot of work. Well, what kind of work? Like reading. I hate reading. Okay. What other kind of thing? It depends on what we do in the morning. Then we don't do math in the morning. We do it in the afternoon. Okay. Sometimes we do science. That's about all. Do you have a favorite thing that you do in school? Nope. Okay. Why are you a Hazel hero? I was with someone when they found uh, number two lunch stamp here. Okay, you, you have a stamp on your on your hand here, and it was on number one lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have a stamp? You're gonna do number one too. What's number one lunch today? Um, forget. Forget? You know what it is? Okay. Oh, okay. chicken nuggets. Yeah, that's chicken right. nuggets. Okay. And there's usually um, at least. Um, Two choices. I think I read in the in the things about you guys that um, that you have three choices. No, two. Just two. Okay. And the stamp was gone. The stamp got lost. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys were were helpful in in finding the stamp, right? Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that. Ian, this guy's moving, right? Yeah. You're moving to where now? Port Huron. Port Huron. Have you? Um, do you know, have you ever been up there? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. And um, when are you going to move? Uh, end of the year. End of the year, after school's all over, then you're going to move up to Port Huron? Yeah. And um, I liked your reason. Why are you moving there? Um, because of all the, oh, I forgot. Um, property there, right? Yeah. That's property. what you told me, you have property, right? Mm-hmm. And what kind of property do you have? Uh, just five acres. Five acres? That's nice, huh? Does it have trees on it? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be, on, are you going to build a house up? Uh, no, we got a mobile home. Oh, okay. So you're going to put the mobile mobile home on there? Yeah. That would be kind of neat, <coughs> right? On five acres? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Um, with lots of trees and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, who's your teacher? Miss Sutton. Okay, so you're in the same place, yeah. right? And um, you were with a group of boys that found the stamp. Yeah. Made everybody else happy because they didn't have any way of checking to see who was one or two lunch, right? Mm -hmm. And they have to order those lunches, so um, they could only order one lunch until they got a new stamp or found the old one. How'd you guys find it? That was yeah. a neat story. Someone got pushed down, yeah, right? Yeah, my friend got pushed down and... His hand got jabbed into it. And he says, what's that? He says, in yeah. the snow pink? Yeah. Was it? And um, when when he got up, he had this stamp in his hand, right? Yeah. And um, since they had already been Hazel Heroes, they thought that you guys would be good to be on the program, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's good. Um, do you have a favorite thing to do in school? Um... No, not really. Not really. Do you like um, 
Jim? Yeah. Okay. Who's, who teaches Jim there? Mr. Leanhouse. Okay. Well, what kind of things do you, do you guys do? Do you just play games or something like that? Yeah. Like basketball and stuff. Mm -hmm. You like basketball? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Okay. Appreciate very much you being on the program, okay? Yeah. Take care and um, good luck in Port Huron. Okay. All right. There we have it. In our last group of girls all come from Clark School. We have three because um, someone was absent last time, right? Yeah. So what happened to you last time? I got sick. I was all prepared for you. You got sick because you're going to come on the program? No. You were sick? Yeah. What kind of sick do you remember? I had asthma problem. Oh, asthma? You have asthma? Yeah. It's a pits, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hard to breathe. And, um... How often do you have asthma problems? Very often? Not that much no more. Yeah, sometimes sometimes they say the asthma's always there, but what makes it kick up sometimes um, gets taken care of, right? Yeah. Do you know that um, my whole family, my wife and my little boy, and, and I have two dogs, but I have one dog that has a breathing disorder. Can you believe it? No. I can't believe that this dog, I think the dog has asthma. I really do. I think everybody in our house, except for me, has asthma. And it's unbelievable. You, you, can, you can hear them at night. You know how sometimes it's hard to breathe at night? Um, and people lie down, and, and the dog will lay over there. He sleeps in our bedroom, and, and he makes as much noise as, as my wife does. <laughs> Are you feeling better now? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, how do you take care of your asthma? I have breathing treatments, and I go to the doctors. Do you? Yeah. And he gives you a thing that, that you have to breathe in? Yeah. Okay. And um, do you have one of those squirters that you can squirt in and you yeah. have to breathe in? <laughs> Gosh, that's a pits, huh? Yeah. Do you keep it with you or keep it at school? I have one at school. Do you? Okay. Um, then you have pretty you have pretty serious case of asthma, right? Yeah. Feeling all right now? Yeah. All right. And what's your name? Jennifer. And your last name, Jennifer? Nichols. Jennifer Nichols. And what grade? Six. Sixth grade. And did you tell me Mrs. Kenyon is your teacher? Yeah. Okay, and she teaches only sixth grade? Yeah. Okay. And you'd be going off to Webb Junior High, right? Yeah. Have you ever been over there? A couple times. A couple times. Is it bigger than Clark School? Yes. It is a whole lot bigger, right? You think you're going to be able to find your way around? Sort of. Sort of. Have you, um, have you done your orientation visit yet? No. You haven't. It's, uh, do you know when they're going to do it? No. I think they take your class over and you get a look around, right, so that you know kind of where you're going, right, because it really is a big place. Um, what are you doing in sixth grade? We study different countries and other stuff. What kind of countries have you studied so far? Australia, China, and uh, Israel. Supposing you could choose one of those countries to go visit, where would you go? Australia. Yeah, I think I would, too. Why would you want to go to Australia? I don't know. You know what I'd like to see in Australia? What? I'd like to see the kangaroo. Right? They have kangaroos in the wild there, don't they? Just like we have deer here? Yeah. Yeah, and you could go out and see kangaroos. I wouldn't know what to do with one, but, um, <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of fun to, yeah. to see one, right? Why are you here so hero? For making sure the sick people have their homework. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of interesting. Um, your teacher has asked you to um, to be sure that that everybody gets their homework right. So if if somebody's absent, she can have you um, deliver it. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing. How did she select you? I live by the people. Okay, you must be responsible too. Yeah. Because that's a responsibility, right? Yeah. And um, unselfish because it makes you take some of your own time to do things for other people yeah and um that's that's what that's what we old people call community service it is we do things for other people because other people are important to us and that's what you're doing you just didn't know that right right now you know right yeah all right we're glad to have people like you in our district okay keep up the good okay. work Corey. right how you doing fine is that the Cincinnati Bengals shirt? Yep. Why the Cincinnati Bengals? 
Mm -hmm. Do you like Cincinnati? Yeah. Have you ever been there? A little, no. Never been there. What do you like about them? You like their helmets, right? Because their helmets look like tigers. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Do you like the, the, the lions? Yeah. Okay. If the lions were playing Cincinnati, would you w want the lions or Cincinnati to win? The lions. Oh, good for you. Good for you. I guess I don't have to tip you over then, right? Um, no. Corey, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. And who teaches fifth grade over at Clark? Mr. Preston. Mr. Preston. What kind of things does, do, do you do in fifth grade in Mr. Preston's class? Science sometimes, um, math, language, once in a while, um, spelling, social studies, okay. and reading. What kind of math are you guys doing? What are you doing in math nowadays? Um, Did you have a math lesson yesterday? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Measured. Measured? Mm-hmm. What'd you use to measure? A special kind of ruler. What was special about it? You can measure angles with it. Oh, you can measure angles, like a protractor? Yeah, yeah okay. that's what we Is use. that what they call it? Yeah. A protractor. Because you can you can measure this way as well as the angles that go mm -hmm. up that way. And um, what kind of angles were you measuring? Were you just measuring or you had to create the angles too? We had to uh, make the angles, too, and we measured them. Okay, so you you, you made, uh, what size were the angles, tell me? Do you remember? Like 30 degrees, 70 degrees? One of those 90. Mm-hmm. Um, 150 okay. degrees. We didn't give you easy ones. 150 is not an easy one, right? And because with a protractor you'd have to do 90, and then you'd have to, or you have to do. I guess you could do 180. Yeah. Okay. Um, Why are you Hazel Hero? Because I found a wallet with money in it. What'd you do with it? I gave it to a lunch aide. Where'd you find this wallet? Out on the playground. Do you know whose it was? No. Do you know how much money there was in it? No. You just said, here's a wallet, it's not mine, and um, how did you know I had money in it? I didn't know. You didn't know? No. So later on, people found out that it had money in it, mm -hmm. told you, right? And you just took it and gave it to somebody. Mm -hmm. That's a terribly honest thing to do, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. What did you learn honestly? From my mom. Your mom? How did she teach you? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we learn things without even knowing that we're learning it, right? Yeah. Um, your mom does honest things, you see honest things, and mm -hmm. um, then you become honest. Mm -hmm. Mr. Preston also said some really nice things about you, right? Mm -hmm. What did he say? Remember? Mm -hmm. Well. Not really. Not really. He said that you're just terribly dependable, mm -hmm. that your work done. Um, good to have in class, right? Yeah. You, know, you obey the rules of the class. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I think that, that he kind of likes you a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably so. I would think that um, many people around Clark School think you're all right, right? Yeah. Okay, you keep it a good work, right? Oh. Keep learning those lessons that, um, that, that people teach you, even though um, sometimes they're not saying, I want you to learn this, right? They, you can just learn them because you see what's happening. Hey, mm. name Matt? What's your last name, Matt? Elliot, Elliot. And how old are you? Six. Six. Um, does that make you in fourth grade? I'm in kindergarten. You're in kindergarten? Who teaches kindergarten over at Clark School? Um, Mrs. Thompson. Mrs. Thompson, okay. And my other teacher's name is Mrs. Hilla. Mrs. Hilla? Where do you have that teacher? Um, the same classroom. Is she okay? So she's like a student teacher. Yeah. Okay. You told me that you could count to a hundred, right? Yeah. And you told me you could do your ABCs. Yeah. All right. I wanna. I think I wanna hear the ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. 
Next time, won't you sing with me? You want me to sing with you? <laughs> That's, the... That's just the song, right? Okay. Um, so now, what are you going to do with all those ABCs now that you know them? Um, well, we have little people, and we have all of them. And we have one each Monday. Mm -hmm. And not one, Mr. Y, he's Yanni. He's Yanni. And Mr. Y is, is yawning, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're having a little person play, and I don't quite like my part. You don't like your part? What is your part? I'm just all whipping well in rubber bands, and I have to wear rubber bands. <laughs> you do? Where are you going to wear rubber bands? Um, at the school <clears throat> play, we had um, a Christmas play, now we're having a letter <clears throat> person play. So you have all these letter people, right, from A to Z, right? Yeah. And each one of them um, do different things, like what is Mr. A? <coughs> it's Mrs. A. Mrs. A, I'm sorry. She, she's a, she, um, sneezes. She what? Sneezes. She sneezes? Okay. Um, what about B? B, his buttons. Okay, C. See, he's cotton candy. Okay, what about Z? Z, he's zippers. Zippers? And um, th is that how you learned all those le letters of the alphabet? Yeah, because um, first we have them, then Miss, Miss Thompson tells us the sounds. Mm -hmm. Do you know the sounds? Mm hmm. I didn't have all of them, but I'm going. I'm going on to the last one. You're going on to the last one. Why? Well, I think we have more to do. Yeah, probably. Well, you got a little bit of time left in school, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, how did you learn to count to a hundred? Um. My um teacher, Miss Thompson, asked me, um, how far could you count? Mm -hmm. And um, I said only up to about 20, yeah. and she taught me how to count to 100. Well, let me hear you count to 20 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's very good. And you can count like that to 100? Yeah. Wow. It would take too long, otherwise I wouldn't have you do it. Why are you a Hazel Hero? Um, because I stopped tattling. Stopped tattling? And, um, any other reason? Mm. Oh, I think on the positive side that, um, that you also, um, learned your colors. Yeah. And you learned your numbers. And, um, you learned the letters of the alphabet, right? Yeah. All right. You keep up the good work, okay? Thanks. Glad to have you here. And that concludes our, our, this portion of our program. Um, Thank you very much. This portion of our program, we have Superintendent Rasmussen with us and the um, Community Education Coordinator, Ann Vyshinsky, to um, do the awards of um, the certificate and the shirts. Mr. Rasmussen. Okay. Jessica Baker. Congratulations, Jessica. Here's your certificate. Take that with you. Nathan Reeves. <coughs> Congratulations, Nathan. There you go. There you go. You're welcome. Melissa Harrison. Congratulations, Melissa. Sharon Salou. Maybe you should tell Mr. Congratulations. Rasmussen. Sharon? Maybe you should tell Mr. Rasmussen what kind of person I am, right? He probably didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> the message was delivered. That's Thank right. You, Sharon. There you go. Congratulations. Gary Farrell. Congratulations, Gary. There you go. Very good. You're welcome. Jane Panich. Congratulations, Jane. You're welcome. Christina Walters. Congratulations, Christina. Marshall Wood. Congratulations, Marshall. 
R.J. Mallet. Congrats, R.J. James Perkins. Way to go, James. Tony Speaker. Good job, Tony. Corey Bachor. Congratulations, Corey. Matthew Elliott. Congratulations, Matthew. Jennifer Nichols. Congratulations, Jennifer. And that concludes our program. It was a great group. All the group, all the groups are great. That concludes our program today. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>